Okay, now we're going to be doing question B. Okay, we're doing question 11, part B. Okay, so I looked at the diagram again, and I saw the 50 and a 68, and my immediate reaction is probably to find that angle, but I might not need it, so let's go and see what we have to do. It says determine the size of PQC, so I want to do that. Now you're wondering why I always just read the question, because then I have direction. I don't randomly find lots of stuff. So let's go. It says in the diagram, an acute angled triangle, ABC, okay, so all the degrees are less than 90 in the angles of the triangle ABC. A line PQ is drawn where P lies on BC and Q lies on AC. The length of PQ is 14 and it is written there. And the length of AB is 18. And then they've given us the degrees and they're telling us. Then they go and say the ratio of BP to PC is in the ratio of 2 to 3. So I'm going to go and write 2K and 3K. I will not put a 2 and a 3 because it's not the length of 2 and 3. So I do 2K, 3K. You can use any variable you want. Right. Okay, now it asks me to find the size of PQC. <clears throat> so, this has got degrees in it, it's got sides in it. So now where am I? Can I be doing geometry? No. I mean, I can do some geometry, but it's unusual with, tre with the <laughs> giving it away. 50 and the 14, so I think it's trig. And I can't use right angle triangles, so now I must be using one of my rules. So it's not the cos rule, so I always eliminate it because I'd have to have two sides in included angle, and I don't see that. Right, so I am going to go and work in both the triangles. I don't know where to start. I'm like you, okay? This is problem solving, and so... I'm going to go and work in the very big one. So I'm going to work in triangle ABC. I'm going to have. So now which ones are you going to work out, ma'am? So in ABC, right, I do have BC. And BC is 5K. So I'm going to write 5K over the sine of 68 is equal to and now I'm going to use another side, because I started with a side on the top. And I'm going to use 18 over the sine of 50. So now I'm going to get 5k is equal to 18 times sine 68 over sine 50. I'm going to pick up my calculator and calculate it. Yay. So nice and easy. Just make sure you're in degree mode. Right, so you've got 18 times sine 68, okay, divided by sine 50, right, and you're going to push equals, and I got that, I hope you got that, I got it to be 21,786, right, now I'm going to go, I don't want the 5, I want K, so I'm going to go divided by 5, equals, and I found K. And guess what I'm going to do straight away? I'm going to go and store that. I want that whole decimal, and it's better to use the whole decimal. So I'm going to go shift, store, and I'm going to put it into A. So I'm going to go and write it to do two decimal places. So K is equal to 4,36. And I've put that in A. So I tell it to myself where it is. Right, so that's found K, which is a good thing. Right, so now I say we can go and find Q. So now I'm going to be in triangle P, Q, C. And I'm going to go sign. And I'm going to call it theta. I'm going to, on my diagram, I'd put theta. And I'm going to write above there, let P, Q, C equal theta. So I don't have to write it again and again. So sine theta is over. 
and I get 3k, but I know what k is, so I'm going to go 3 times my a, right, equals, and because I've started with an angle, I'm going to go sine 50 degrees over 14. So now sine theta is equal to 3a sine 50 over 14. So let's go and type that in. Right, so now. I'm going to have to remember what I've just got there. So I had 3a, right? And I've got sine 15, and I've got 14, haven't I? Good. Okay, so now we're going to go there. Right? Okay, so sorry, I'm in stat mode, so I'm just going to get out of that stat mode, so I don't have that. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to have 3, and I'm going to do alpha a, right? And it's going to be sine 50, close bracket, down, and I've got 14 equals 0,71. Now, I've got that on my screen. So now what I've got is sine theta equal to 0,17, so on. So now to find theta, I'm going to go shift sign. So now I've got it on my screen, so I'm going to go shift sign, answer equals, <clears throat> and I get it to be 45,66. And I looked at the third decimal place, it's a 4. So that's what I get it to be. So theta, so this degree is 45,66. Let me check whether I've written it right. Okay, absolutely. And that's what I got that angle to be.